Hey guys, this is another one of the combination locks that uh, Wayne Winton sent to me from Colorado. It, and this one, actually it's it's got a little bit of marking on it, MFS Supply. And I don't know what VL means, but you guys have probably seen these hanging on doors. People lock their keys up for their kids when they get home from school. Anyway, uh, it works almost exactly like the one from uh, Master Lock. Might even be made by the same company. We're going to use the same flexible 12 thousandths uh, knife, and I'm just going to stick it in there. And we're going to find that flat spot. And it works, like I said, exactly like that master lock. Looking for the flat spot on the wheel. Took the long way around. There we go. Four. There we go. Sometimes there's a little washer in there you got to watch out for. We meant to turn it around a couple of times, but it's not really a lot to these things. They're very easy. There's 97409. Now this one works a little different. Pay attention. You can see that there's a hinged door here. This uh, shackle does come out, but not from the outside. This one we have to lift the lid off. So looking at 7409 doesn't work, but we got the flat spots lined up. And what I like to do is just read the next series of numbers. So I want the next combination to be 6, 3, 9, 8. I'll just dial a 6, 3, I want to go that way, 9, 8. Now we try it again. Okay, it doesn't work. I want the next one to be 5, 2, 8, 7. 5, 2, 8, 7. Now the wheel turns that way and we get an open. So. Flat spots line up, that's all you got to do, and then just turn them sequentially, going from whatever's there to whatever the next series of numbers is, and you will eventually get an open within 10 tries, because there's only 10 numbers. Anyway, thanks for your time, stay safe, stay legal, stay away from these combination locks.